Hello, class. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hello, good evening. Hi. How is everybody today? I'm sorry, can you hear me, class? Hello? Hi. Hi. Good evening. Okay, me pueden oír. Sí. Oh, okay. Eh, dije como, how are you, class? Como seis veces y nadie me contestamos. Hello. Good evening, okay, teacher. Pero... Hi, Jesse. Hi, hi, hi. But you can hear me now. It's... Can you hear me? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Y saben, saben que hay problema también. Ahorita solo puedo ver a Miriam y a Yancy. Todos es foto. Entonces, para que me digan, yes, no. All right. How was your day today? Everything good? Good, teacher. Bye bye. Hey, Yancy, you are in your house today. Yeah. You are not in your business. No, no, free. All right. I'm, I'm sorry. I always forget. What is the name of your business? Um, no, under, no understand. What is the name of your store? Ah, uh, um, may Maros Chop. Maros. Maros Chop. Maros, Maros. There you go. Okay, Maros Shop. All right. There's everybody, everybody's coming hello, in. Hello, 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 Noemi, hello, Guzman, hello, Anna Lisette. Wow, Anna Lisette, you look different today. You know, you hello. know, hi, you look different because you usually always have white. Yes. Now, now you have green, green, I think. Good evening. Hello, Noemi. Hello. Okay, so remember, what did we do yesterday? Hmm, difficult, teacher. What, yesterday? What was difficult? Um, um, lesson four. Lesson four, uh, how do you say punta? Punta. Punta, para decir cuatro punto, creo que es cuatro punto seis o cuatro punto trece. Oh, pero en section four. Mm, sí. Ok, ya, ya lo vamos a hacer, no se preocupe. Ok. Estamos en Ayer hicimos oh, uh, yeah, we did this one yesterday. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me one second, okay? Okay. Excuse me one second, hold on.
Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay, look, let's do lesson four. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, 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 good. So listen, in this, in lesson four, um, in this class, participants will learn new vocabulary related to geography. Let's see. The biggest and the best. Let's see, let's listen to this. to one more section. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach. Desert. Forest. Hill. Island. Lake. Mountain. Ocean. River. Valley, volcano, waterfall. Volcano, river, Hi, sorry, I was in mute. Okay, we understand what is beach, correct? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, no, I don't know. Talk, me oyen? Yes, okay, okay. okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, Noemi. Thank you. Yes, but look, I have 17 people and I ask, one question, one time, two times, three times, and all I see is this. Please participate. You have to, per please say yes, no, or, or with your, because I don't know if it's my audio or no sé si me oyen o no. So if you don't want to participate, okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay, if you don't want yes. to participate, just tell me on the chat. Teacher, no me pregunte a mí, please, okay? And I won't. Okay, um, we understand beach, correct? Yes. 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 El Salvador yes. has many beautiful beaches. And remember, beach. beach como, ¿Saben qué es como decir beach o sin o? Beach. 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 Yeah. Beach. 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 Hay la, la un poquito larga, beach. Yeah. Beach. Next, desert. 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 El Salvador doesn't have Salvador deserts. Have, have deserts. Maybe San Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a desert. But not a desert. <laughs> yeah, it's similar. <laughs> but there's no sand. Okay, next we have forest. 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 El Salvador, I think, has forest. Yes. When yes. you go, when you drive to Ataco, man, you see for one hour you see green. Chalatenango. Chalatenango. Okay, next. Possible, he's a forest, right? Yeah. Yes. Next we have hill. Do you know what is a hill? Oh. No. no. Okay. No. Remember the teleférico? The teleférico was in the San Jacinto Hill. Cerro. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Colina. 
No, it's Cerro, Cerro, Cerro. the hills. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Next, we have island. You understand island? Island. Island. Uh, muy bien, eh, Yancy. Fíjese que ahí la S es silenciosa. So, it's, in English, it's island. Island. Porque si uno dice Iceland, ya está hablando del país, Islandia. Porque ese es Iceland. Yes. The ice uh, in the city Suchitoto ice ice the beer in the lago Suchitlan. The bird island. The bear island in the lago Suchitlan Suchitoto city. Yes, okay, yeah, true. Okay, next we have lake. Lake, lake. Lake. Where's Guzman? Lake. Guzman, are you here? Yeah, the, the best. <laughs> Can you give me an example? Can you give me an example with Lake? How about your business? Well, my business? My restaurant, our restaurant, or my party's restaurant uh, is in front of the lake, like at five meters. All right, good. All right, cool. So, hey, come visit. Uh, come visit Los Almendros. It's in front of the yeah. lake. Yeah, it's in front of the lake. And listen that. We, we have in front of the lake um, around uh, 30 minutes using boat. We have an island. Oh, what, really? What, uh, what island? Las tortugas. I, I don't know the name, the exact name, but some somebody is uh, Isla del Amor. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know why, right? <laughs> uh, the another one is Isla Chachagaste. I don't know why the name too, but that's the name. You have two, two or three islands there. Do you have a, is there, is there a, the name of your restaurant is Los Almendros, right? Yeah. Do you have like a Facebook page? Um, no, yet. Then happening is that we, I work in none. Okay, you're working on it, nice. I have a question, is a restaurant or is a diner? Like it's a restaurant. Right. Yeah, it's a it's a restaurant. Oh, okay, okay. It's good to know because I haven't been to um, Apulo in years. So if I go to Apulo one one of these days, I will go there. Yeah, of course. Just let me know. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we understand lake. Now next we have a mountains. It's like about it's full of mountains. Correct. But I think Honduras mm -hmm. is, is the in Central America, Honduras, no. ¿Cuál es el que es plano? Honduras, no? Or Nicaragua? Nicaragua. Yeah, and Honduras has many mountains, right? Yeah. Honduras. Okay. Mountain. Next, we have the ocean, the ocean. river. Ocean, oceano, oceano mm -hmm. Pacifico. Yes. Okay, we have the ocean, do we have the river? What is the valley? Valle. Valle. Yeah, valle. Aunque mucha gente también se refiere a the valley es como el barrio, la colonia, the valley. Next we have volcanoes and we have a water. But the valley? Uh, Bali is, is like the La Hamaca Bali, right? Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay. And next we have, uh, do you know what a waterfall is? Cascada. Cascada, no? Exactly. There are some beautiful waterfalls here. All 
All right, next. Do, 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 do. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Uh, I had uh, one question. Yes, please. Um, what's the difference uh, mountain and hill? Mountains and what? And hills. Uh -huh. You know, that's a very good question because it's like in Spanish, montaña y cerros. I really don't know the difference. I think hills are smaller. So más pequeños los cerros, creo. They're like mini mountains. I, I think, correct me class, am I correct? Mm, yeah. yeah, I think that it's Yeah, you are correct. I'm a geophysician and I, I say that. Yeah, because I, every correct. time I, I see a hill, <laughs> a hill is very small compared to a mountain. Yeah. All right, let me see. I lost the page. Oh no, sorry class, I lost, I closed. Let me open this again. Do, 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 do. Do 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 It's the do 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 yeah, the come, come, yeah. come, 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 Leon, you come and go. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is next. Okay, listen. Um, Participants will listen to a conversation about geography. Comparison with adjectives will be first introduced. Hi guys, in the conversation we're about to listen to, the speakers use comparative adjectives. Do you remember how to compare? Stay around for the explanation. It is important to practice and understand the conversation. Listen and practice. Here's a geography quiz in the paper. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure, first question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know, Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Look, listen to this. Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective. Comparative. 
superlative. Long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the, plus superlative adjective, plus noun or object. Study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long, and irregular adjectives, which you need to take into account when using them. Examples? He is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. <laughs> Did you understand that explanation? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Do you understand the explanation? In my case, I understand uh, the when you say big, big, biggest, but I don't understand when you use uh, the, fo the form. Okay. So listen, do you know, class, what is an adjective? Small. Okay, what is an adjective? Small. Okay, can adjective, you give... Adjective is describe the, the, the verb. The verb. Can you give me an example, please? Miriam? Uh, let me see. It's a quality, no? Yes. The adjective. Like uh, a small, for example. Okay. It could be that. Maybe the can house you give me an example? Small. Okay, the house is small, but but you're saying that uh, you're saying that adjective describes a verb. So can you give me an example? No, the chat. <laughs> No, estaba mitad correcto. An adjective describes a person. Oh, okay. An adjective describes a place. Oh, okay. An adjective describes a thing. So in conclusion, an adjective describes a noun. All right, but thank you. An adjective describes a noun. Okay, class? Okay. Example, uh, Jose Carlos, can you give me an example of gasoline? Yeah, 
גסולין. The gasoline is expensive. In Santa Ana, it's more expensive. Oh, yeah, okay, good. All right, good. What is the adjective? Yeah, expensive. 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 Because expensive is describing uh, gasoline, correct? The gasoline. Yeah. Yes. All right. So listen. So now we, everybody, we understand. Everybody, we understand adjectives, correct? Yes. Okay. Jose, Jovito, Ana Lisset, Jose Carlos, Cesar, Aida, Catherine Giselle, Jose Isaias, Gerson, Noemi, and Lisette Flores, you understand adjectives, correct? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, yes. 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 teacher. Right. Yes. Good. Yes. Now, there are two adjectives. There are short adjectives and long adjectives. Short adjectives is one or two syllables. For example, ugly. How many syllables in ugly? Two syllables. Two. Ugly. Hot. One, one syllable. syllable. One syllable. One syllable. Um, Be tall, tall, one syllable. Beautiful. Three syllables. Three syllables. Ah, okay, so beautiful, so long, long adjective. adjective. Okay, good. Yeah. Thank you. Now let's go back to the short adjectives. If the adjective is one or two syllables, when we compare, le ponemos er al final. Um, Cesar, how old are you? I'm 22. 22. And you, Isaias? I'm 29. 29. So, Jose Isaias is older than Cesar. Because the adjective is old, ¿verdad? And it's one syllable. Entonces, solo voy a agregar er. Isaías is older than César. Yes. yes. I have an I, I have an example. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, uh, Costa Rica mm -hmm. is more safe than El Salvador. No, es lo que estamos viendo ahorita. Safe oh, okay. is one syllable. Remember. Oh. One or two syllables, we put er at the oh, end. Okay, okay, okay. But thank you. Okay. Por ejemplo, old. Okay. Wait, wait. Let's, es, a usted le va a costar mucho esto. Porque en español siempre decimos más. César es más alto que, que Adonai. Eh, Lisette es más alta <laughs> que Noemi. Siempre usamos más que. In English, we don't incluso say. Lo usan, incluso se usa. Lo, algunas personas lo usan mal porque dicen más mejor. Más mejor. <laughs> yes. Pero eh, le va le va a costar eso por la costumbre que en español siempre es más que en inglés no. En inglés no usamos más. Usamos er. Big, bigger. Ah, okay, teacher. And then uh, El Salvador. El Salvador is more dangerous than Costa Rica. Sí, pero no nos saltemos aún. Ahorita estamos, ah, okay, eh, okay. estamos en safe. <laughs> Dígamelo con safe. Um, safer? Exactly. No, okay. Can you tell me then? Or, your example? Uh, okay. Costa Rica for is. Example. Ah, okay. Um, Costa Rica is safer than El Salvador. Exactly. Okay. Costa Rica is safer, than, safer El than El Salvador. It's the only possible way. More safe? No. Okay, More okay. safer? No. 
safer, safer. than. Safer. Okay. Thank you. Very good. So yes. the Salvador is smaller than Guatemala. Exactly. Okay. El Salvador is smaller than Guatemala. It's the only correct answer. More smaller? No. More small? No. Okay. And that's why okay. we are comparing. You need two, those numbers, two Teacher. names. Yes. Excuse me. When you use more in the adjective. Excuse me, please. Never wait. you use. Wait, wait, that's next right now. Vamos a ir por partes. Ya le voy a enseñar okay. cuando more. more. But okay, right now we you. are, no, no, thank you. Right now we are in short adjectives. In short adjectives, no usamos more. So, um, Liz, Karen, Karen Flores? Yes, teacher. Are you married? Yes. Um, who is angry? Enojado, enojada. What is the comparative of angry? Um. Es super fácil <laughs> si no saben cómo es. Angry, two syllables. Um. What is the comparative of angry? Ang angrier? Angrier. No. Angrier. Uh huh. So compare um, you and your husband. He is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he is high. He high. Excuse me, teacher. Can you uh, uh, repeat the the, the word, please? Angrier. Angrier. He is. Mm -hmm. Angrier, angrier than, angrier than me. Exactly. He is angrier than me. Good. Uh, Ovito. Hello. Do you know what is cheap? Cheap, uh, cheaper. Mm -hmm. Class, do you know what cheap is? Barato. Uh, Jovito, can you compare Pollo Campero and Don Pollo? Mm. <laughs> Sometimes, Don Pollo. But I, I don't understand. Hey, Please, yes, compare, yes, yes, compare, yes, yes. compare the two. Okay, okay. Uh, Don Pollo is cheaper than Pollo Campero. Exactly. Don Pollo. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Continue. Go ahead, teacher. No, 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 no. Don Pollo is cheaper than, than Pollo Campero. It was correct. Go ahead, yeah. Cesar, your example. Ah, oh, okay. I have an example with in El Salvador is common that the a diner uh, are cheaper than the restaurants. Exactly. Diners are cheaper than the restaurants. Good. Very good. Thank you, class. Entienden, lo, entienden la, los. Ahora. This is, ahora viene una cosa que es sentido común. Obviamente, cuando ustedes van a comparar, es porque no están muy seguros o tienen una similitud, right? Entonces, eh, Es un poco ilógico decir, ¿qué es más caro? ¿Un sorbete en Boston o una casa en Santa Elena? The house en Santa Elena. Se los, no, pero, come on. O sea, no, pero, no, a lo que voy es... It's ridiculous. Really, man? Really? You, you, uh -huh. you, aunque gramaticalmente... Está bien dicho, pero me entiende, pero también aquí entra un poco el sentido común. Obviamente, El Salvador no lo podemos comparar con Brasil en tamaño. Solo que realmente alguien no haya pasado tercer grado. Hey, ¿cuál, ¿Cuál es más grande, Salvador o Brasil? Es like, really? Really? 
Yo compararía El Salvador con Israel. Ah, ok. Por el más pequeño, El Salvador y Israel. Pero me entiendo, tiene que haber algún tipo de similitud. Por ejemplo, en Centroamérica, Belice, right? Yes. We can compare that. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yo he oído ejemplos como, ¿dónde hace más calor? ¿En Alaska o en San Miguel? Sí, de verdad, un día voy a notar todos los... los las cosas que, yo les digo, ok, pero aunque realmente creo que en Alaska nunca hace calor. Ok, entonces esa es la segunda parte de eso. Tiene que tener un poco de sentido común la comparación, ¿no? No me puede, o sea, por ejemplo, ¿eh, ¿a dónde es más caro? ¿En la Pampa Argentina o en Don Pollo? Si es un turista, maybe. <ríe> si es una, un turista, hey, no, man. <ríe> La pampa. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Okay, so, let me see. Lisette. Flores. Hi. Hi. <ríe> I'm going to ask you Do you know what is handsome? Um, what? Handsome. No. Guapo. <laughs> Guapo. Entonces, ¿cuál sería el comparativo de handsome? Hold No, no estoy diciendo lo, con, lo contrario. What is the comparative of handsome? Beautiful. Creo que hemos estado haciendo toda esta clase. Ugly, uglier. Tall, taller. Handsome, ¿cuántas sílabas tiene? Do, uh, two. So, what is the comparative? Hans. Hans, sorry. <laughs> es lo mismo. Handsome, er. Uh, ugly, hans ugly, er. Tall. Tall, er. Just put er uh -huh. at the end only. Pero dígalo en solo. Ugly, uh, sir. Ugly, uglier. Ugly, Tall, uh, taller. Handsome, handsomer. Hans, han, uh, handsome. Okay. <laughs> so, what is the comparative of handsome? Handsomer. Very good. Now, this is a difficult question, okay? Um, so, prepare. Who is handsomer, Brad Pitt or me? Uh, me, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> you see, it's difficult. I, I understand. Let me change the question. Who is handsomer, Brad Pitt or uh, Jason Momoa? Momoa. Um, Jason Momoa is a. Answer me. me. Ay, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Ok. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo? ¿Cómo se. Handsome. Handsome. Ha. Handsome. Y solo la agrega er. Handsomer. Sí, pero de un solo. Handsomer. Handsomer. Ok. ¿Cuál es? Jason Momoa eh... is handsomer uh, than. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Yeah. Noten cómo mm. se contestó rápido, pero cuando dije Brad Pitt o ni le costó. <laughs> Because it's a difficult question. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Okay, um, Lisette, ugly, right? Okay. What is the comparative of ugly? Uglier. Exactly. Tall. Polier. Taller. Polar. Okay. Polar. Yancy, mm -hmm. mm. hi. Hello, teacher. Hi. Yancy, uh, who is crazier? Crazier. No, crazy. Crazy. Crazy, crazier. 
exactly. Who is crazier? Portillo Cuadra mm. or Mauricio Funes? Mm. Yo tenía Mauricio Funes en la cabeza. <laughs> yes. <laughs> es que son shows, man. They are shows. Portillo Cuadra is a show in this moment, huh? Portillo Cuadra, Crazier Funes. Dan Funes. Dan Funes. Yes, he's funny. Ofrendo mi vida. Remember? He's funny. He's crazy. Okay, yeah. Example, right? Who is crazier, uh, Funes or, or Portillo Cuadra? Catherine, hi. Hi, teacher. Are you married? No. Do you have a boyfriend? No. no I have a boyfriend. Do you have a brother? No. <laughs> Sister? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Imagine brother, no. <laughs> Mother, uh, sister, no. Mother, no. Father, no. Hijo. <laughs> oh my, ya me dieron miedo a seguir preguntando. <laughs> no, en every time, y cada vez decir no, 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 no. No, okay. You have a sister, Brian. correct? Okay, um, who is older, you or your sister? My sister is older than me. Excellent. Excellent. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let me see. Noemi. Hi. Hi. Um, who is richer? Richer. Donald Trump or Bill Gates? Bill Gates, Richards, that Donald Trump. Good. Van. Van. Donald uh, Trump. Donald Trump. Very good. All right. Entonces ya sabemos que es un adjetivo corto, ¿verdad? Que es un adjetivo corto. One or two syllables. Yes. Okay, hoy vamos a entrar al long adjective. Three, four, five. Hay algunos de cuatro, creo que nunca he oído uno de cinco, pero la mayoría son de tres. Entonces, un adjetivo largo es de tres para arriba. Example, beautiful. How many? How many syllables? Three. Y si no saben, digan, beautiful. Intelligent. Four syllables. Four syllables. Dangerous. 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 Three syllables. Dangerous. Excellent. Okay, so now listen. Aquí se estamos more. All right, Carla, o oh, Carla, creo que era Carla, mm -hmm. que me preguntó eso. Karen, teacher. Karen, thank you, sorry. thank mm -hmm. you, Karen. Karen, aquí se llama more. Mm -hmm. Y el, el adjetivo lo dejamos igual. More mm -hmm. intelligent. Mm -hmm. More beautiful. More hot. No. Is correct? More hot? No, no teacher. No. It's a no. one syllable. Thank you. Thank you. It didn't trick. Have you ever seen me? No, no, no. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, more. Um, so. Teacher. Yes. More. More. Danger. Danger. Dangerous. Dangerous. Okay. Dangerous, intelligent. Um, ahorita no se me viene otra la mente, pero cuando ustedes ya tengan un adjetivo, ya se saben la regla. Ah, pero es cuatro. Eh, son tres sílabas, entonces es more. Ok, do we understand? Yeah. 
Who is more intelligent? Who intelligent? Uh, who is more intelligent? Annalise said, you or your ex-boyfriend? Me. Uh, <laughs> I am. I am more intelligent than my ex. <laughs> my ex-boyfriend, <laughs> very good. Okay, do you understand? Yes. All yes, right. Eso se llaman comparativos porque si dan cuenta estamos comparando dos cosas. Y otra vez, esto también tiene mucho sentido común. No podemos decir quién es más rico, Bill Gates o, o el dueño del taller autorrepartos. Soy, no, hombre. ¿Quién es más rico? Um, Bill Gates o Omar Angulo. <laughs> like, it's, it's the, uno ni sabe qué responder como, really? Podemos hablar que quizás hay gente rica en El Salvador, como que es más rico. Who's, uh, who is richer, Cristiani o Bukele? Who is richer, uh, Boma o Crit? O Simán. Ajá, o Simán. Ok. ¿Tienen algunas preguntas ahorita de comparativos? No, teacher. It's clear for me. Thank you for your explanation. Thank you. Teacher, yeah, because the explanation in the video I, is confusing. I have a question. Yes. In, in the adjective Skylet, uh, two, two syllables. What is the adjective? Avil. I'm sorry, what? Um, por ejemplo, eh, eh, entonces eh, ahí se, como solo es, le agregaríamos air. Pero, ¿cuál es el adjetivo? Hábil. Eh, how do you say hábil en inglés? Que aparece escrito como skylet, algo así, termina ed. Lo puede escribir sí. en el chat. Is it skill? Skill. Skilled. Skilled. Abil. Skilled. Mm -hmm. Pero fíjese que en este, en este sentido. Eso ya es verbo, porque termina en ed. It's a verb. But good question, Noemi. Good question. El adjetivo ahí sería skill. Pero si ya está en skilled. Ok. Eh, ahí está diciendo. Él está. Está usando skill en forma pasada. Pero skill es okay. como de habilidad, ¿verdad? A eso sí. se refiere. Pero entonces sí, para decir que... En el área de deporte, ajá. Ajá, o sea, o que tiene más habilidad para algo. He has ajá. skills. More skills. Oh, More skills. 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 Es que skill, no, sí es un adjetivo, pero es más que todo un noun, es un nombre. Sí, sí porque por ejemplo, noun. tendría que decir He has more skills in in the football, right? Or in, in football. The soccer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, next superlatives. So we have ugly. What is the comparative of ugly? Uglier. 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 Good. The superlative seria ugliest. Ugly. Ugliest. La misma regla. 
one or two syllables, lo único que hoy no va a ser er, va a ser est. Big, bigger, biggest. Big. Biggest. The only difference here, we don't compare. Now is in general. Cesar Adonai, how old are you? Uh, yeah, 22. 22. I'm 22. Okay. Yeah. Hey, classic. Yo creo, I think Cesar is the youngest in the class. No? Mm, I don't know, but uh, yesterday uh, somebody uh, said. Uh, Oh, um, yeah, Nine, I think 19, I think, 19. I think it's Carla or Karen, but como nunca lo he visto. <laughs> no, teacher, I it am is. older. <laughs> no, it was Carla, I think. Y ya se fue. Estaba <laughs> conectada. Yeah, algún día voy a saber quién es Carla. <laughs> I don't know, but the, she said she, she's 19. That, yeah. Yo, yo no entiendo. De verdad, una gran pregunta que tenemos los profesores que cuando no, no salen así es que tienen la clase de fondo o tienen mejores cosas que hacer o algo así. Es mala onda, pues, porque, no sé, cambian de horario, si es muy fuerte el horario o algo. Pero créanme que así no van a aprender mucho. <ríe> tienen que estar activos siempre. Entonces, en este momento, en this moment, no está Carla, who is the youngest in the class? Noten, no estoy comparando, estoy general, generalizando. Who is the youngest in the class? I am not comparing Cesar with Jose. Si quiero comparar Cesar with Jose, then who is younger, Cesar or Jose? Yeah. <coughs> But um, if I want I, to speak I, in, in general, is the youngest. I guess that I am the youngest in the class. Okay. Who is the handsomest in the class? Yes, the teacher is the handsomest in the class. Very good. Que veo mucho que me <laughs> Pero ahí se entienden, ¿verdad? Ah. <laughs> okay, so you understand superlatives now. Superlatives is in general. So, entonces quedemos en... en uh, uh, Miriam, which is the biggest country in Central America? Um... Guatemala is biggest is biggest country in Central America. Good. Really? Is Guatemala is not Honduras or, or Nicaragua? No, Guatemala. Oh, no, Guatemala. I guess that is Nicaragua. No. No, Guatemala. Know. Guatemala. Oh, okay. I think. All right, okay. <laughs> Harrison. <laughs> Harrison, where do you live? Where do you live? Uh, I live in Japan. What is the oh, dangerous? Ah. Okay, wait. And, ¿Saben qué? Antes les voy a enseñar los, do, la, los dos de un solo. Porque como ya se puede en la regla del comparativo, ¿cuál es la regla del comparativo? Si es uno o dos adjetivos. Sí, Sílabas. ¿Qué se le agrega? Y si es y si es superlativo, ¿qué se le agrega? Must, must, no. more. Se le agrega est. Ah, est. Est. Okay. Ahora. En finish. Ajá. Y la misma regla. Si el el si es tres o más. More. More. No. more. Ahí usamos most, most. para superlativos. Most. 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 Uh -huh. So, Gerson, you are from Soyapango. What is the most 
dangerous zone in Soyapango? Uh, campanera is the most dangerous in Soyapango. Okay, good. La Campanera is the most dangerous in Soyapango. Uh, Noemi, yes. which is the hottest department in El Salvador? San Miguel Hardest. Dan, Dan, La Libertad. Is that correct, class? Oh. Uh, no, she's comparing. I'm not comparing. I'm generalizing. Listen to my question. Which is the hottest department in El Salvador? Forty. 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 Why Forty. Está diciendo que es más caluroso. Ok, no, no, no. ¿Qué es superlativo? Oh, yeah. Hardest. Hardest. Caliente. Be no. Oh. Oh, oh. Do you understand? Um, ok, remember. Ya no estamos en comparativos, right? ¿Cuándo estamos en no. comparativos, class? Mm. Uh, la, la misma palabra lo dice. To, to now. You compare. You compare. You compare mm -hmm. two things. In superlative, you don't compare. Superlative is in general. So I am not comparing what is hotter, San Miguel or La Unión, no. I am talking about El Salvador. Which is the hottest department in El Salvador, Noemi? Um. No, I mean, oh, teacher, no sé qué es hardest. Hot. Pero sí oh, sabe okay. por qué me dijo okay. San Miguel. Oh, okay. No, I mean, listen. Relativo. Listen, no, I mean, listen. Miriam, let me repeat your question. Which is the biggest country in Central America? Uh, Guatemala is is biggest it's the biggest, the biggest country in Central America. Okay, good. I am generalizing Central America. Yes? Oh, Central America. Okay. No, very America. good. Thank you. Noemi, which is the hottest department in El Salvador? In El Salvador, eh, San Miguel de, de, is the hardest. Department. Department. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Good. No, it's very good. Mm. Maybe, yeah. I, I, algunas personas dicen que es la unión. Yeah, but I, in my opinion, it's San Miguel. All right. Very good. Lisette. Uh, me? Flores. Yes, Lisa <laughs> Flores. Okay. Voy a regresar con lo que le costó la, la vez pasada. What is the, hoy dígame, what is the superlative of handsome? Handsomer? No, that's comparative. Handsome, handsomer. What is the superlative? Mm. Come on, Lisa. Big, I'm... bigger, biggest. Tall, taller. Tallest. Handsomest. Lisa, diga handsome. Handsome. No, no, no. Re repeat. Handsome. 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 Repeat. Handsome. 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 Okay. Handsomest. Handsomest. Exactly. Mm. Es que ahí creo que es donde se pierde porque se queda handsome. No, solo diga la palabra entera y, y póngale esta al final. Handsomest. Handsomest. Hoy no es mi día. No, no, it's okay. Ugly. Ugly. Mi hamster está así. Oh, really? No, pero oiga eso. Ugly. Ugly. Ugliest. Hot. Hotest. Pero... Ugliest. Solo Handsomest. La... Ok, so Lisette, who is the handsomest 
in the class? Um, the no, teacher is the handsome. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's actually ya, very good. Ya pasó de grado. Ya oh, pasó yes. de grado. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos okay. a ver. Vamos a ver, espera, quiero ver algo. Quiero ver cómo la puedo poner, mover a primer lugar ahorita. Move, move. Ah, ya sé por qué no puedo poner eh, mi fondo, cambiar fondos. Porque no soy el, el host de este Zoom. Ok, handsome. Right. José Arturo. <coughs> Which is the most exclusive restaurant in Santa Ana? Porque dije most exclusive. It's a long adjective. Thank you. Three. Exclusive. Um, La Pampa is the, the most exclusive. In Santa Ana. In Santa Ana. Very good. Catherine, dígame los tres usos de usando un adjetivo, el comparativo, el superlativo. Cold. 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 Colder. Colder. And the superlative? Cold. Or... Coldest. Coldest. Listen. Listen to this. Listen to this. Hot. San Salvador is hot. And um, Usulután is hotter than San Salvador, correct? Pero San Miguel is the hottest in El Salvador. You see, I use the three. Three sentences. Salvador, San Salvador is hot. Usulután is hotter than San Salvador. And San Miguel is the hottest in El Salvador. Ven que el superlativo no anda con cuentos. El superlativo, boom, directo, general. Por eso es muy importante el... el... Esa otra cosa que se me va a decirles. Es muy importante el, el complemento. Porque si yo les digo, Gerson, ¿Quién es más viejo? Who's the oldest? I don't know. In your family, in the class, in your work. That's very important to be specific. Okay. Si yo te pregunto, hey, Gerson, ¿cuál es el más pequeño? I don't know. Ah, ¿cuál es el país más pequeño del mundo? Oh, okay, that's different. You see, it's very important, the compliment. All right. Teacher. Messi es el mejor del mundo, yes. No. In, in this moment, está descansando. No, pero... Hey, Real Madrid no tiene ningún derecho a hablar ahorita. <laughs> Hoy sí los veo todos calladitos en Facebook. Salieron de la Copa Rey. Ay, mentiras. Eh, eh, aquí hay una pregunta, sí, porque aquí sí soy muy malo en geografía en El Salvador. Which is the biggest department in El Salvador? Los jovencitos deben saber más esto. I guess that is uh, La Unión or... San Miguel, no? I don't know. Really, really, I don't know. No, no sé. La Unión is the most. It's the biggest. Oh, oh, it's the most biggest? No, it's the biggest. It's the biggest, thank you. 
Really? It's La Union? Ah. Okay. I, I I was finding in I searching Google, so oh, okay. uh, <laughs> yeah, the Usulutan is the biggest in El Salvador. Oh really it's Usulutan? Okay. No, 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 no. I I I, I think uh, it's it's Miriam versus yeah. Google. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. San Miguel, San Miguel. No, is, uh, is, uh, dice oh, que wait, es uno wait, de los wait. más grandes. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, 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 hold on. Okay. Listen, I, I have my, my, listen to this. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. ¿Cuál es el departamento más grande de El Salvador? El sitio web de salvadormipais.com dice lo siguiente, La Paz. Para saber más, busca el enlace en la app de Google Home o en la del asistente de Google. Es La Paz. Hey Google, apaga pantalla. You like my sister. Hey Google, apaga pantalla. This is like my, my girlfriend, pero es que me está oyendo, por eso se enciende. Y a ver, hey Google, ¿qué hora es en China? La hora en China es 12.13 del día. Wow, imagine that. It's lunch in China. <laughs> Listen to this. This I is funny. Alexa. No, yeah, I prefer no, Alexa. No, I prefer Alexa. No, I prefer Google. Watch. Listen to this. Hey Google, cuéntame un chiste. ¿Cómo llamas a un perro que está tomando sol en la playa? Un perro caliente. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is, this are, this are very cool. dice que es San Miguel. Wait. Hey Google, in, 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 ¿cuál in es el departamento más <laughs> grande en El Salvador? El sitio web de elsalvadormipais.com dice lo siguiente, San Miguel. Ok, it is San Miguel. Uh, I'm going to read this. But, but it's supposed, it's, it's supposed hey, Google, that San Miguel has, has uh, around 2,077 okay. uh, kilometers. Ok, class, you have homework. Yeah, so that, it has uh, more than territorial. Hey, say, mire, you say no. that Usulutan have a uh, two thousand and one hundred. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And San Miguel, two thousand and seventy-seven. Sí, pero eso fue en el gobierno de Sánchez Serén que hicieron esos cálculos. Imagine. <laughs> That's true. That's I don't normal. know. <laughs> En clase, imagínense uno de estos cuando estudiábamos en, en bachillerato. Like, no need to study, man. I have to. Ellos no saben, teacher. Ellos no saben. No confiaría. Hey, Google, ¿Cuál es la capital de Japón? Like... La capital de Japón es Tokio. 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 The, I'm not uh, the oldest in the in the class, right? So <laughs> I have yeah. yeah, for you for you this is normal. For you this is normal. For me, it's like wow, this is so cool. No, yo tengo eso, lo tengo en mi cuarto, es bien chivo porque solo digo, hey, poneme la alarma tal hora, boom. Y... Really? Yeah, you talk. So aromatic. <laughs> yes, it is. You sure? Can, can yeah, when I say good night, I give a kiss. It is Watch. an app, uh, it is a device, or what? Watch. Hey Google, buenas noches. ¿A qué hora quieres pena? que establezca la alarma? A las seis y diez. De acuerdo, tu alarma está configurada para activarse mañana a las seis diez de la mañana. Buenas noches. Hey, no me tiro un beso hoy. Oh. <laughs> Los grillos. Yeah. It puts music. Hey Google, apaga right, la right, música. Right. No, um, it, it's 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 se llama un Google Google Hub, algo así se llama. Es es 
es como una tablet, pero en vez de tocar, todo eso lo has hablado. So it's nice. Pero a mí hey, me gusta. It's a device, yes. It's a Google device. But it's good because like sometimes you're cooking or estoy lavando el carro y solo le digo, hey, poneme música de Metallica. It's like Alexa. It's a device it's like Alexa. from Amazon. Yes, but you know why? You know why I think it's better este? Mm -hmm. ¿Quiénes son los dueños de Android? Google. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when it's an Android device, o sea, lo hacen como más fácil. <laughs> Eh, yeah, but Alexa, Alexa is good too. Alexa fueron los pioneros quien se inventó eso. Yeah, true that. Yeah, but it's cool. It's nice. Okay, espero que hayan aprendido los, los, los adjetivos. Recuerden que los adjetivos se usan para comparar o para generalizar y hay, y hay dos reglas. ¿Cómo se dicen si son cortos o si son largos? Y como Lisette, les digo, solo digan el adjetivo y el complemento. Si es necesario, lo tienen que decir en dos sílabas, díganlo. Ugly er. Ugly er. Ugly er. Hasta que lo digan en un solo. Ugly er. Ugly er. Ok, teacher. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Ok, class. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Tengan un feliz Thank fin de you. semana. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Bye, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Uh, see you. See you next week. See you on Monday. See, see you on Monday. Bye bye. Monday. Bye. Ahorita eh, Guzmán va a tomar su private airplane. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. <coughs> bye.